Ladies and gentlemen, today is a very great day because this is a day that I didn't think I was going to see for a while because I am a bit of a forgetful individual. But luckily I have good friends to help remind me of these things and I'm just happy to say we're about to get our 30th buddy heart in a row and then we could just be done with this and I don't have to do this again until they decide to do it in another masterwork. I really hope they don't end up doing that. But there we go, Whimsicott has been fed, earned 30 hearts. Oh, it's done. It is finally done. Now let's back out real quick and go to our master work right over here. There it is. Claim our poffin. And now we can claim these rewards and move on to page three. I really hope we get some easy tasks here, but I haven't looked ahead. So let's see what happens. We have to uh, talk to the professor. Sorry, let's just skip through that. We have to hatch 10 eggs. We have to defeat 30 Team Go Rocket members. That's not the greatest, but we can still do it. And then we have to defeat Giovanni. And in the end, we're supposed to get Lugia. So, let's work on that. Let's look around us here. Do we have any rockets? There is one, two over there. Let's go over there and beat those up real quick. All right, we have defeated 11 grunts so far. And look around us here. There are a lot of rockets to do, so we might actually smash this out relatively quickly. We are officially 24 rockets down, but we gotta still work on these eggs. Luckily, we have five five kilometer eggs ready to go. Let's see what happens with number uno. It is Bonsley. Come on, I want that tie rogue. Number two, that's not a tie rogue at all. Okay, number three, another Bonsley. Good Lord, all right, let's see what number Quattro gives us. A seal, can we at least get one tie rogue in here, please? No, that's fine though. We're five down, we only got five to go, and luckily, I have plenty of these 10Ks ready to go, but hopefully we can get some twos, which is not something you'll hear from me too often, because I want to be able to hatch fast so we can just get done with this. Please two kilometer egg? Yes, we got one, awesome. And ladies and gentlemen, this is rocket number 30 right here. I am so glad we were able to do that in an hour and 39 minutes, and technically a little less than that, because I still had to do the whole intro to the video and take the picture and everything, or not even take the picture, feed my buddy. I'm tired. But anyways, I'm happy that we finished that up. Now, I was able to defeat 30 rockets pretty quickly because I live in downtown Orlando. As you can see around me here, it is literally covered with stops. So if it takes you a little longer because you're not in an area with good stops, don't worry about it, especially because of another thing that I will bring up later on in the video. You don't really want to rush this too much, but yeah, all we got to do now is we got to hatch three more eggs. I have hatched two two kilometer eggs, they were both trash, but I do have some 10 kilometer eggs that are pretty close to being ready to go. We just have to go 1.1 kilometers. So let's quickly hatch these eggs and then we'll move on. And in the process of hatching the eggs, Shiny Jigglypuff. I'm okay with that, you know? I mean, it's not the most exciting shiny, but I do love the green eyes on it. Kinda wish that the skin changed a little bit. Maybe like a lighter purple, maybe? I think that'd be pretty cool. You know, like, I love shinies that really change, and I will admit that the eyes are beautiful, but what if the skin was just, you know, like a nice, lightish purple? Personally, I think that would look really good. But let me know in the comments down below, how would you change Shiny Jigglypuff? Or do you think it's perfect? I'd like to know. Anyways, let's take a look at these. Ah, these. Yo, no way. That is PVP IVs and like really good PVP IVs. All right, well, you know what? Let's do it. I don't want know what rank it is and I don't quite care. I feel like this is gonna be pretty close to good. So yeah, that is pretty amazing. And I feel like this is gonna be under for a uh, great league, right? Let's just see here. Mm, boom, there's our shiny Igly buff. I cannot believe we just got that. That is so amazing. Please be decent for when I power you up. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? All right, come on, boom, boom. Wow, 1497, absolutely. I don't really use Wigglytuff too much, but uh, I might now. Okay, I just looked it up on the IV calculator website. This is a rank two for Great League. Hell yeah, that is freaking awesome. I think a rank two shiny for Great League is at least worth a thumbs up on the video. And if you're really enjoying yourself, please subscribe. Now let's hatch our final eggs for this quest. We got four 10 kilometer eggs, number uno is an Alomomola. 
cool, whatever. Number dos is an Esper, cool. Wish that was shiny, that's a great shiny. Number three is a Rock Rough. All right, well, a lot of different things here, but let's see what number Quattro gives us. Ah, probably the most disappointing one, to be honest. And now it's time to claim these two rewards. Let's get our 3,000 Stardust and the Super Rocket Radar. Boom. And is it equipped? I hope so. Yep, there we go. Now let's equip it real quick. And I don't believe that Giovanni's gonna be out right now, but let's just take a look. I think they go away. Yeah, they work just like Team Go Rocket leaders. Okay, well, we're gonna have to wait until at least 6 a.m. for my balloon to come in. And currently it is like 2 a.m. right now. So I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll rest a little bit. And when I wake up, I know for certain that my balloon is gonna bring in Giovanni and we're gonna talk about it a little bit and then we're gonna fight him. So on that note, good night. And now it's the next morning and we're about to load up Pokemon Go and fight Giovanni. But there's a small problem that I should mention to you guys right at this current moment. Giovanni has Shadow Lugia on him, which means if you complete this right now, you're gonna get two Shadow Lugias. And that might be your third one as well because of the fact that we had Shadow Lugia earlier. So I might suggest you guys holding off. For the sake of the video, I'm going to do it, but I would suggest holding off because you can hold on to this masterwork research indefinitely. It's permanent until you actually complete it. And then also the Super Rocket Radars, you can stack those to a point, so might as well just hold on to them because there are far better Shadow Legendaries out there. There's Shadow Raikou, the number one electric type in all of the game, only really competing with Shadow Electivire, but you know, it's still really amazing. And then there's Shadow Moltres, which is only beaten by Mega Charizard Y. So you can only have one of those anyway, so might as well get a lot of Moltreses. And then Shadow Mewtwo is the number one. It is the best DPSer in all the game, and the only thing that really beats it is its Mega Evolutions later down whenever we get those. So. I would suggest that you guys might wait a little bit and hold off, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to do it right now. So let's load up the game and let's beat up Giovanni. And here's the balloon. It should have Giovanni on it because I don't have a normal Rocket Raider on. And there it is. All right. So in order to defeat him, I will build a team real fast. And yes, unfortunately, I uninstalled the game. So I have to build my team real quick. And here's the team I'm going to be using. I have a Lucario with Power Up Punch, Counter, and Aura Sphere. Very useful against the Persian. The middle Pokemon sometimes is a ground type, so I always go with Swampert because it's really spammy as well. You can get a lot of Hydro Cannons off. And then the last Pokemon's going to be Lugia, so we're going to use our Tyranitar because, I mean, it is a freaking Dark and Rock type. It counters Lugia pretty well. And this one has Smackdown, Stone Edge, and Crunch. So, with that being said, let's battle Giovanni, let's defeat him, and let's get our Shadow Apex Lugia after this is all done. But... Yeah, this is a pretty easy battle, as long as this thing doesn't have Scratch, because Scratch is really bad, even for a... Yeah, it has Scratch, of course it does. Wonderful! Fantastic! As you can see, even though I am part Steel, I am still taking horrible damage, and also I don't know why I'm swiping right now, because he's going to block this. They always use the first two shields, so... Boom! There we go, let's just do it again. Hopefully I can get to another power-up punch before Lucario dies. There we go, perfect. All right, well, Lucario made it through the Persian, and that's all that really matters, because the Persian is unnecessarily rough. It is not the funnest thing to fight against. Like, even though I'm part Steel, it doesn't seem to matter, because Scratch will do a lot of damage. So let's see what the middle Pokemon is. It is a Water-type, uh-oh. Please let me, oh, actually, wait, Kingler? Okay, that's not the worst thing. Mmm, it's not the best thing either, but I mean, luckily Swampert's gonna probably, like, be able to handle anything here. But let's just get as much damage as we can possibly get on him. And we actually made it to another power-up punch. Wow, is Lucario gonna make it all the way through? I doubt it. I very much doubt it. But we've gotten a few power-up punches on, so bang. Yeah, Lucario's probably gonna die here. Come on, you got this. You got this! Ah! Well, this is actually good because we can just now use the, uh, the Tyranitar, gain a little bit of energy there, and here comes Lugia. Yep, there it is, bang. I think I'm gonna just hold off. Oh, it's got Dragon Tail, fantastic. I completely forgot about Dragon Tail. Let's throw a uh, Stone Edge, because this is a very tanky Pokemon. It is very, very tanky, so we wanna do as much damage as possible, because this Tyranitar might actually, might not actually make it. I hope he makes it, but... This Dragon Tail is, uh, it's not great. Come on. Oh, good. He threw a move. Perfect. That's actually perfect. When they throw a move like that, you have plenty of time to gain a little bit of energy. I can throw at least a crunch off. Like, I know that I shouldn't have really blocked that because it wasn't super effective, but with shadow bonuses and how ridiculously OP uh, Giovanni's Pokemon are, it's worth throwing a shield. So, here we go. Throw the crunch. Bang. And Shadow Lugia just needs one more rock. And now we're done, and we beat him. I wouldn't mind a better Shadow Lugia, but to be honest with you, 
These things have a chance of being, I believe, a 666 or higher in all its stats. So this could be really terrible or possibly really good. We'll see. 321, Lugia right here. It's cool, I guess. 803. I think I got an 823 earlier, so this is not exactly the best one. Also, I don't know why I use a Golden Raspberry. When it comes down to the Rocket Legendaries, they're guaranteed catches. As soon as you hit it, you get it. So, bang, boom, perfect. Ah, hopefully it has good IVs. I wouldn't mind it having good IVs. It is. Ah, that's not great. Again, for you guys, I would suggest holding off, but again, for the sake of content, I'm doing this just to show you the Shadow Apex Lugia. But now we can claim our Silver Pineapple Berries, and now we're going to get our Shadow Apex Lugia, which I'm looking forward to getting, but first, 3,000 dust, 3,000 XP, of course, and here comes Shadow Apex Lugia. Bang! Looks pretty cool! I like it! 1544, no idea if that's good. Also, I don't know if this is guaranteed. You know, actually, no, I don't think it is guaranteed because of, uh... It's, not, it's in a research, so we can't get away anyways, as opposed to like a rocket where if you miss all the balls or something. So let's just try again. Shazam! Perfect. Excellent throw. Kind of want to get it in a Pokeball, so... One. Oh, yeah, see? It's not guaranteed. But again, it's not going to run away, so... Let's just keep throwing the balls to see if we actually get this thing. And that was a terrible throw. Well, that's fine, because sometimes the terrible throws get it. One, two, and three. See? You throw an excellent and it doesn't matter, but you throw a really bad one and you get it. Cool. Word. Anyways, there we go. 1544 is terrible. Oh, that's so disappointing. I was hoping that this thing would be like good for something, but no, that is a very bad Shadow Apex Lugia, but it does have Aeroblast Plus on it, which is cool. Man, I was really hoping that this thing would have actually been good to be like purifiable as a hundo, but in the end of the day, there it is, Shadow Apex Lugia. This is actually kind of a cool detail though. If you notice, the Shadow Lugia looks like it's normal sprite, but the Apex Shadow Lugia has got like the roaring animation going on with its little sprite there. Just a little detail, but it's kind of nice. I guess it's there just so you know which one's which. And now it's time to complete page four of four. 3000 XP, 5000 XP, 4000 Stardust, which is fantastic. And we're gonna get ourselves some candy, awesome. 20 Lugia candies, we also got more Stardust, and there's our 5000 XP. And now we're done! The Masterwork Apex Shadow thingy is officially over. It was fun while it lasted, though I will say the 30 days in a row with the heart was very stressful. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you have, why not check out some more amazing Pokemon Go content right over here? Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell icon so you know when I upload, and also comment down below, are you gonna get your Shadow Apex Lugia right away, or are you kinda just gonna wait for a little bit? Please, let me know. Links for Patreon and merch are in the description box below, but with that being said, this is the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.